Hey guys and welcome back to another Android TV Box buying guide and today we are going to talk a little bit about Android versions on Android TV Boxes such as this one right over here and which version should we get? And we are back. So as you guys had the chance to see on my latest video which was about the Lenovo G66 this machine, uh, it's released in this year, 2018, but it comes with Android 5. And as I stated on my review, it doesn't make sense, especially coming from a really well-established brand, just doesn't make sense. That's along with the Rockship 3288, which is quite an old sock coming also in 2018. But that I did state on my review. Now, for those of you that are wondering, hey Robert, should I get Android 5, 6, 7 or 8? My opinion, it's really simple, guys. Through the years, and I started to use uh, an Android TV box on Android 2 or 3. I'm not really sure about that. I have to <laughs> check it out. But the point is that we have evolved quite a lot in some areas. In other areas, we are almost the same, especially since Android 5. Now, there is a particular uh, feature that I did love when Android 6 came out, which was the adaptive storage. And to me, that is one of the main reasons to get Android 6 or above instead of getting Android 5 or older. Now, there are other features that we could mention, but this is one of those features that to me, for this kind of device, makes a huge, huge difference on the way that we use a Android TV box that instead of having or instead of being limited by the 16 gigs that I've got on an Android TV box if I insert a 64 gigs flash um, SD card or micro SD card I can expand the storage and have a lot more room to install apps and games and so on and so forth which games are apps but you get the point Android 6 is in my opinion one of those versions that makes total sense for this kinds of device. So for that reason, I wouldn't honestly get anything lower than Android 6. On the other hand, if you ask me, hey Robert, so should I go with Android 7 and Android 8 when available for this kind of device? For the experience that I've had so far regarding Android 7, I would say that some manufacturers are just rushing up with their Android 7 firmware versions and they are not paying attention to detail leaving uh, or producing boxes that have a poor firmware. Now a good example can be the Billing GT1 Ultimate which was one of my choices of 2017 running Android 6 and it's still a great machine but on the other hand the same machine with Android 7 just sucks. It has a really bad performance with issues all around and if you guys look at some reviews you will have that comparison so the same machine using android 6 it's great using android 7 sucks and it's uh, it's not because of the android version by the way it is because of the firmware implementation by the manufacturer that's in a rush to have a better marketing through uh, and getting more sales and so on and so forth they did not spend enough time improving that firmware version to have a better performance and better experience on their Android TV box. So in conclusion, guys, I would say that the balance at this moment is Android 6. Now, there are some serious manufacturers on the market that are uh, updating their firmware to Android 7, but they are taking longer. Why? Because they are trying to fix all the issues that come with a new operating system version. And although I do believe that every single one of us wants to have the latest operating system version available, my word of caution is before any purchase or before any update, please read the comments from the community issues that arise with the uh, firmware update and so on and so forth. And if you ask me at this moment, hey Robert, I don't have any box, I'm looking to buy one. Is Android 6 all right? Totally and 100% more than fine for this kind of device. Just make sure that you are getting a box with a strong and solid firmware. And of course, if possible, support from that brand as we have talked in uh, past videos. And that is it, guys. So Android 5 and below, it's a no-go at this moment. Android 6 and above, 
great. Just make sure that the firmware is solid so that we don't have any issues or if we have some issues that they will get fixed as soon as possible. And that is it. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and I'll see you guys on the next one.